So we are finally at the end, well, almost at the end. We are on part one of BGC 17 reunion, East meets West. And as I said before, I really doubt this is the last Bad Girls Club and the last reunion because once again, they showed it as if it is the end, which I'm going to get to a little bit later um, because there's something very interesting. I wonder if you guys notice what has changed from an episode two or go. I don't think you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, it's not the end of the day yet. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't really say that. It's like really, really late. You guys know I have been running around all day. I had class and actually at last minute class was canceled because um, my acting coach was on set. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so while I was getting ready for class, I decided I was going to do a video for you guys, which I posted earlier. And then once it was canceled and I was already getting in my car, I was like, screw it, let me go run my errands. So I got like this really cool, like really big vision board. And I've never had one before. So it's a big dry erase board and it's different than most. It was a hundred dollars. Okay, first I went to Office Depot. It was twenty dollars off. And then the lady at the register was really nice. She gave me a twenty-five dollar off coupon. So I got like the markers and everything for like a hundred bucks, which is still kind of high for a damn dry erase board, right? But it's really cool because it doesn't look like a white cheap one with like the silver frame around the outside. It's a big glass on top of a whiteboard so it's like really nice it's gonna look good in my office so when it is up I will put it on my Instagram video not the video as a post but the videos as like how they ripped off snapchat one of those videos because that's what I've been doing if you guys didn't know I've been doing Instagram videos instead of snapchat because it's like too much it's like too much social media all at one time so if you're following me on snapchat follow me and watch my Instagram videos at the top because that's where I do them now basically as snapchat okay so the reunion starts first with Kiki saying this is Kiki your favorite bad girl um I don't know who gave her that title or why she said that but yeah Tanisha we then see her with her purple hair and then we see Erica in the dressing room and I'm looking at T Tanisha like oh my god her body I always thought Tanisha was really really pretty and she was always beautiful because she had a pretty face and she had a great personality and great energy and spirit so now that her body is the way it is I'm like oh my god Tanisha is so hot like she's always been gorgeous to me but now she's even like more attractive so um, you guys know I always flirt with Tanisha at like all the reunions or anytime I've seen her. So yeah, she looks really, really good. I can't get over how good she looks. Like I wonder what size she wears and how much she weighs because she looks really, really small. It's crazy. It's so crazy. But good for her for being all healthy and stuff. If she is healthy, I don't know if she's like starving herself to death or I would hope that she's eating healthy and working out. But she looks really, really good. Okay, so in the dressing room, Kiki cheers to being the turn-up queens, and it, of course, is Fran, Brie, Kiki, and Sayora. So the girls meet Erica, and Erica says Brie and Kiki got a wrath at the end of the season, and Brie's kind of looking all confused, and I was kind of confused because I thought she was talking about Brie and Kiki together, and I was like, wait a minute, they kind of got into it earlier, but they were talking about, or she being Erica was talking about Seven and Key getting a wrath at the end of the season with Brie and Kiki, and of course that makes sense. Kiki says she's been working on her balance, so she's not just going to fall over when they start to fight. And apparently after the show had aired or something, before the reunion, Susan, who's never met Brie, was talking crap. Um, I don't know. I think that's what Haley or somebody did on my season. Like, girl, I don't even know you. Like, who are you? Like, what are you talking about? I was there before you. Like, what? So... Brie says she went to work, she had a good night, she came home, she counted her money, and she woke up to a tweet from Susan, who she never met, talking shit. We, I don't know what the text said, if it was real, if it was not real. Maybe you guys can tell me, like, comment below if it was a fake page or if it was really Susan's, fa Susan's page. Now she's, like, trying to cop out and act like she didn't say it. I mean, I don't really know what's going on. You know, I don't pay attention to all that drama. I just, like, base my opinion on what happens on the show and what um, Oxygen shows, the edited version. So, I don't know about none about that Twitter stuff and who posted what or whatever else. Like, I really have no clue. But I did see one thing that BGCT posted. What did they say? 
it was like something with Winter coming for Brie saying Brie wanted to look like her or something. I don't know. I just like, I came, I came across it. I don't know how because I do follow the BGCT page. And I was like, what are they even talking about? These girls be having, they, they be just trying to find some drama. Like, it's crazy. I don't know, but these eyebrows look good today. They look really good with this hair color. I had to use a different toner because um, I forgot to bring mine to the hair salon on Tuesday. So if you notice, there's kind of like purplish in there. So like where, not intentionally, but where the bleach basically turns it to a whiter color. This toner has a purple base. So you can see my hair kind of has like purple hints in it. But kind of goes with these eyebrows and you know it's really funny because my eyebrows got a purple tint to them too like the tattoo part because the colors are changing okay so next Erica says y'all have to go out with a bang and obviously she's talking about a bang everybody knows what going out with a bang means it's clearly a fight without saying a fight and she says who do you want to talk to and why and they're like what talk to she's like no no not that but you just say go out with a bang we know what you're talking about not just cause commotion that's clearly fighting Brie uh, says she brought a jumpsuit and Tim's to see Key and Susan like she ain't playing. She ready to go in. And of course, her hair is braided, which I'm really jealous that I didn't do that. That was a really smart decision. I should have done that. I should have just kept my hair braided the whole damn season. I would have had no issues. Susan then comes and says, Susan comes onto the show into, you know, the reunion, not the reunion stage, but into the dressing room. And she says, Brie came after her on social media. She meets up with Seven and Key. Erica says, there's someone missing here. And of course it is DeShayla. She decides not to come to the reunion. Um, I feel like that. <laughs> Did that start with my season? Like, was my season the first when Mimi, Mimi didn't come? Like, I feel like girls after my season 11, that girls just kept not showing up for the reunion. Especially, what, season 13, a bunch of girls didn't show up. So, I don't know. I feel like this is a new thing. I don't remember prior to 11, girls just not showing up to the reunion. That's crazy. Seven says she hopes Kiki has some grace and takes her past ass whoopings and just leaves it at that. Like, she's not trying to fight. Key then answers for Susan when Erica asks about the tweets to Brie, and then Key just starts going in a rant about something, saying Brie made that fake page and blah, blah. I don't think Brie would make that fake page. I don't know. That was really weird. I don't think so. Tanisha says it was supposed to be East vs. West, but this is the biggest change of clicks in BGC history. Sorry, I have allergies. I did not take allergy medicine today. I haven't been taking it. I don't like taking medicine all the damn time. Um, so that's why. I don't feel like I sound crazy, but like every once in a while I can feel like congestion in my throat. So they always say that. The biggest in BGC history because it's supposed to get you hyped up for the show. This is the craziest reunion in BGC history. And I think she, Tanisha even mentions later on, like, this is the biggest flip-flop in BGC history. I mean, maybe it is. I, I gotta think back. I mean, maybe it is. Definitely the biggest flip-flop with DeShayla. But the, what, what was the last thing I said? Uh, the biggest change of clicks. I don't know if I would say that. Well, I mean, I guess because it's like they had preordained clicks before coming on the show. East Coast versus West Coast. So, of course, they did get mixed up. And basically, the first girls to come out are the originals who made it to the end, which of course are Fran, Kiki, and Sayora. Tanisha tells Fran, you're my favorite white girl, and I'm pretty sure they edited out of this season. Or Tanisha was trying to make her feel better, the, better about herself by just saying favorite white girl. Not necessarily like, you know what I mean? But clearly it's for just BGC 17 because I'm the favorite. And I am going to ask her about it. I haven't yet. I'm gonna ask her. Ah, she calls Fran the rock star Barbie. She said, "How was it? Hard, how hard was it to make it to the end?" And of course, Fran said she wanted to quit earlier. And Tanisha jokes like, "You had to call your mama." Her and her mom are really close. My mom and I are really, really close um, as well. I called her a lot on the show too. It wasn't like, "Mom, I don't know what to do. Help me." That's kind of what I did with Cal. I'm like. Cal Bear, they lock me in the phone room and she's my roommate. What do I do? And of course, I just kicked the damn phone room open. <laughs> so I guess Cal Bear 
was the one I called and she called her mama. Okay, Tanisha then says the most epic friendship is Ebony and Ivory, which of course is Fran and Kiki. At the beginning of the season, I really didn't see that coming. I really thought Kiki and Key were going to stay friends, so that was definitely a shock. Tanisha then says she's shocked that Sayora is sitting next to Kiki, and she asks Sayora to stand up to see her outfit, and she's showing us her outfit. It kind of gave me flashbacks because I always be trying to show off my outfit, but I put a lot of time, work, and effort into my outfits for these reunions. Like, everything is um, custom, and I, I do. I put a lot of time and thought into the reunion outfits, so of course I'm going to show them off. Tanisha says, the fans want to know, this is no shade, but is your body real? She says she got her titties done, and she got a fat transfer after gaining weight on the show. And I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder if she went to Dr. Miami, because that seems like the new thing to do is go to Dr. Miami. Um, who is really crazy, by the way. I don't know if you ever watched his Snapchats, but he's like all over the place, like playing Fetty Wap and doing all kinds of crazy stuff and singing and wearing crowns and shit, like rolling on skateboards through the damn plastic surgery center. I don't know. I don't know if he's really all that great. I mean, his work seems to be fine on Snapchat. I don't really be watching it too much, but because it's like gross. It's like cutting a bunch of people open and blood and knives and stuff. So I've seen a couple of his Snapchats and he, he literally is all over the place. That man's crazy. I think he's getting his own show. I feel like I saw that on E! So maybe I'll watch that because I do like watching reality shows. But yeah, he is off the chain. Okay, Kiki, Kiki says she's going to share some tea. And of course, Tanisha is all excited. Like, what's she going to tell us? And she says, Shay reached out to her and she said, basically, thanks for talking to me. The other girls haven't been. And then apparently right after she tweeted the Fab Four talking about Seven, Key, and Susan, Tanisha says she flip-flopped back. <laughs> Clearly, she'll know what she want to do. And then, this is what I was going to say at the beginning of this video. I want to give a shout out to Oxygen because last week when they were doing the end of the day video, I was kind of like telling you guys, like, I know where I came from. And I was like, I was like, well, how are they going to show Julie's little clip first? Because for one, I'm the one that brought that to the attention and whatever else, right? So I don't know if you guys noticed when they did the at the, the day, at the end of the day video this time they actually put me first so they cut julie's clip i don't think they even put julie's at the end or in the middle i think they just cut it completely but i was really happy about that i'm like oh they put me first so they did you see it it went from some like weird commercial um <laughs> what was at the beginning of this video a commercial for what is this? Huffy, 125 years. We make it fun. I wonder if that's a Huffy bike. I don't know. Is that a Huffy bike? I had a Huffy bike when I was in like elementary school. So this is really funny because like my dad basically raised us as boys, pretty much all me and my sisters. And like, say for instance, when I got a tricycle, when I was really, really young for Christmas, I had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one, and my older sister had a Ghostbuster one. Both boy tricycles. And then when he got us both Huffy bikes, I believe mine was blue? I don't know why I can't remember. I just know I had a boy bike when I when he gave me a bike. He really wanted us to be boys. Um, but that's why I grew up as a tomboy. It may not look like it, but like I used to be playing outside barefoot, playing in the dirt, like playing with animals. We had chickens. Um, we had all kinds of animals, like randomly. We had horses for, horses for a little bit, not horses. <laughs> I must be sleepy. Um, so yeah, he like raised us as boys. Where did this even come from? At the end of the day, I have no clue why I said that. I don't know, but shout out to Oxygen for putting my video clip first at the end of the day. I love you guys. That was really sweet. That's funny. That made me smile. And thank you. Okay, so Tanisha calls to Shayla, and she answers first ring. Uh, she was ready for that phone call. She asks why she isn't at the reunion. She says she's over it and doesn't want to have to explain herself. Kiki then takes the phone and says she treated Shay better than her friends, her real friends did. And then Shay says 
that she is loyal to Key and Seven. She's like, what the hell? Like, she just keep going back and forth, right? So Tanisha then takes the phone from, she takes the phone back. She says, you can run, but you can't hide. God bless. Don't let the doorknob hit you where, I don't know what she said. You would think the end of that phrase, because you've heard it before, was like, where the sun don't shine. That's not what she said. I don't know what she said. I rewinded it twice because I was like, what? Like, I'm trying to see, like, what little phrase she said. I have no clue what she said. If you know what Tanisha said there, then please comment below because I have no clue what she said. And I was really trying to figure it out. Okay, friend then shows Tanisha how to be a hype girl. She gets on the table. She knocks stuff over. And security decides to take the tray with flowers and whatever the hell else is on the table. That stuff should definitely not have been on the table because, like, what? I don't feel like these girls were really drunk um, at the reunion. Like, say, for instance, me and Judy were. Uh, but to have that stuff on the table, like, you could just, like, pick it up and throw it. And I really meant to go on this side. But this video shows the opposite. So, like, I thought the star was on this side when I reached for it, and it's really not. But, like, this could really, like, hurt somebody. It's, like, spiky and stuff. But y'all know I don't be fighting dirty like that because, like I mentioned before, I could have, like, used Mo as a damn weapon because he looks like he's just whatever, but he's actually, like, a big hard block of wood. Remember, I showed you this. Like, he's hard as anything. Like, you could bust somebody's head open. This is like hitting somebody with a wine bottle. Like, he's extremely hard. Next is, oh, there, he looks cute like that. 